Okay, <laughs> welcome to Game Creation. Uh, we've had a couple of just me talking. I want to shut up now and actually just get on with progressing through this. So in this video, we're going to set up a basic website uh, on our server. You don't need to have or on our computer. You don't need to have a server. You don't need to pay anything. There is no money tra transactions happening. Um, and we're going to open a web browser and we're going to see two words which I'm sure if you know anything about computer programming you know what those two words are going to be just to test it out um, and yeah let's just get started I'll stop talking let's go and I'm sure the comments probably before uh, shut up and get you know get on with it okay first thing you need to do oh not now first thing you need to do is you need to download um, this notepad plus plus there are loads of um, kind of texters out there for doing it uh, this is just by far the simplest. Um, you will absolutely love using this. Um, I use Visual Studio um, quite a lot um, and this. The, those are the main two. Uh, and I just like the simplicity of this. You can use a Notepad um, on the computer. It will drive you insane because it has no kind of helpful hints, which you'll see with Notepad++. It comes up with different colours depending on different elements and it's all sorts of cleverness going on with it. Um, you can't use Microsoft Word or anything that has its own styles because it doesn't save pure text. It saves all sorts of other metadata and gibberish uh, and it just won't run. It just won't work. Um, and th this Notepad++ is completely free and you can get rid of it as soon as this project's over. It doesn't like, go around installing all sorts of nasties or anything. Um, and again, this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love this, um, because I trust it. <laughs> um, okay, so once you've downloaded that uh, and installed it, it will look like that. And we can um, save that uh, if we choose to, or we can create a project file, which I have here. And what you can do is if you right click and you say new text document, um, and we'll call this index dot html now I have this on by default that I can see the dot blah 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 I think if you type index dot html I think it will still realize that's what you want um, yes um, what I could have done also is save this document here in notepad plus plus into this file it doesn't really matter which way around you do it I'm just showing you really that you can do either and then with this you can just edit in with notepad plus plus straight away which I'm going to do and there we are brilliant <laughs> that's us started okay so uh, I'm going to get loads of things wrong with this because I look up stuff all the time but first thing we need to do is say that we've got html and we do everything in html and this is what we're writing here with tags. A tag is a square bracket open something and then square bracket shut. Now you have to open and shut it. Basically the compiler, the web browser, will look for this because this is the start of HTML. And whenever you open a tag you've got to shut it. So I'm just going to leave some space for my code there and the way of shutting that tag is exactly the same way but it's square bracket forward slash HTML and you're going to get so used to doing that so open without the forward slash shut it with the forward slash okay so everything every tag you open you've got to shut right um, before we get started with the website what um, the websites or the the web browsers want to know is any invisible data that we want to share with them and where we put that is in the head tag. If you've used XML or, or anything like that, you're used to this way of doing it. Okay, and so we open what we call a head tag. Basically, this bit here is for anything that we want to send to the browser of any interest at all. And I'm just going to shut that. Now, most browsers will... Actually, you don't need to write any of this for most browsers because they will just assume that they're there, but we really should write them. Okay, this is the good bit here, the body tag. And this is where the magic happens. And I always open and shut um, tags 
whenever I can. So if I open one, I shut one straight away and then I write the code in between. Now something else you might notice that I'm doing is indenting them. I always indent everything um, because it helps you just keep an eye on whether you're in a tag or not. So if I write I know, hello in there, for instance, I know that's in a tag because it's kind of um, uh, indented out here. So it must be in a tag. And then I can just look up and imagine there's loads of these. So imagine there's, imagine there's loads of these. I go, oh, what tag's that in? And I can just look up that line here. And this is what Notepad++ puts in to make it easy for me to know what tag I'm in. So I'm in the body tag. Everything that you see in HTML, and that's a sweeping statement that I actually is not necessarily true, but we're going to pretend it's true. Everything you see in HTML is between the body tags. So if I wrote hello in the head tag, it will not show up. If I wrote hello in the body tag, it definitely will show up. Now this is the standard way of starting any kind of project or any kind of new language is you write the words hello world. That's a standard way of testing to see whether you've got the thing set up. Normally it's something more substantial like, you know, um, um, in C or Java or something where you've got a hole in it to go through and you've got all these other things to do and to create the screen and blah, blah, blah. But we'll use it for this. <laughs> so I'm going to click save on that. I'm going to go back to where I saved it. And this is the important thing is you need the exact path to it. So if you click up here on Windows and then right click and say copy you'll notice that you get the full path of this and you need the path of it. Then if I open any web browser, I'm using Firefox here, only because I use Chrome all the time. I've got loads of bookmarks and all sorts of things, which I'm sure I don't want to, to share. And we want to do forward slash index.html and it even comes up with it there, so I can just click on that. Ha ha! There we go, we've made our first website. There you go. Now, you'll notice it says file here, that's just added for a by Firefox. Uh, you don't need to type that bit in. All you need to do is type in um, the path to your file and then index.html. And the reason we do index, index is always the default. So really, that when I did forward slash project forward slash on the internet, it would just run what um, the index file automatically but on the local file system, it doesn't. Okay, let's make it a bit more interesting. So let's go back to the file editor um, and let's put a title tag in. And so I'm going to my head because this isn't something that's going on the website. You'll see where this is going. I'm gonna say, hello. That's the kind of person I am. And so this is the title of the website. Okay, so what I do is go back here I've saved it, I press Control and S on it, and I'm just gonna refresh the website. And nothing visually has changed here, but look, hello. <laughs> there you go, and that's a brief introduction to what head. We're not gonna do anything in the head really. I mean, we could put the name of the project or the version or whatever up there so that when we've got loads of tabs open, um, it's easy to spot, that could be a good idea. Although it would be easy to spot because in the URL it will say version three or whatever. So it's not, not that important. But that's what the head does. The head is responsible for all the metadata and everything else. And normally you load stuff in there and um, all your CSS goes in there. Right, let's talk uh, about some styling just for fun. It's, we don't need any of this for our project, but we we'll, might as well have a laugh. Uh, there's the things on um, the internet called divs. Divs are comp what were completely overused. Like you put everything in divs. Divs is like a paragraph. Uh, no, it's not a paragraph. It's like a section of content. Um, div stands for divider. Okay, so it's a section of content. If you want to paragraph, that's actually a p tag like that. That's a paragraph. Um, and um, the modern HTML has moved away from divs and moved towards or expanded to have like words for everything. But if you make the whole website with divs, um, it works well. <laughs> and what we do is we say style. I want to style you. I want to style you. I want you to have, uh, 
hate typing color with uh, with you. Tim Berners Lee was British, darn it. Why has it not got a U? Anyway, I want that to be red. So Control and S. Go back here. <gasps> wow, it's red. That's <laughs> this is like the early days of the internet here. People would get excited at this. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a background. Could put background color, but actually this will work as well. And I want the background to be yellow. Control and S. Open this up. And <gasps> ooh. And you'll notice a div, a div extends the whole width of the page. And you can like change that as well. Why do I make it um, display inline block? And there's all these things that you just learn as you do it. And that will make it just extend around. Oh, look at that. And I could sit here for hours because I write so many websites. I think I've written, I don't know, 30 odd websites probably. Uh, and so I'm well versed in all of this lingo. Um, and you think like the color of the text would be text color or font color because everything else with fonts is like, or with text is like font size and font weight. But with color, it's just color, <laughs> which is quite interesting. But anyway, um, okay. So that is a very, very brief introduction. You'll notice we have not uh, created any kind of game unless the game is Spot the Hello World. Ooh, there it is. Okay, that's not much of a game. So in tomorrow's video, we are going to be drawing our canvas. And that literally is what we're going to be doing. So I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.